Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 14, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we're looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we're trading at the 62,970. And uh, now 27, or you can just round it up at the 63K. Uh, so this is basically the all-time highs. Uh, we are running uh, into resistance here. You can see the market opened again and it's placed in red. So a pullback from here could be expected. Otherwise, we could also rally up towards uh, uh, 65K and even 70K. And so, yes, Bitcoin just continues to defy the odds and the markets are just going higher and higher and higher. At this current stage pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50 should offer major uh, support for this market as they have done in basically the last few months or the last year technical indicators are all turning to the upside and are very bullish there we are still at 69 in the rsi which is very low for bitcoin usually it gets up towards the 90s and the 80s before it basically turns around so let's look at uh, Ethereum. So Ethereum as well, we are approaching, uh, well, uh, 2,000, basically 500 will most likely be the target at this current stage. We are running into resistance here, pullbacks towards a 20 exponential at the 2022, which is also the previous high. So here, that's probably where we're heading towards before going higher. Uh, so 20 exponential uh, has offered support in the past so has the 50 down there at 1792 technical indicators are all very bullish at this point and we are significantly overbought also in the rsi so let's look at cardano so cardano is significantly outside of the bullish band at this current stage we are trading at uh, 1.3952 Technical indicators are very bullish. So, uh, MACD, the stochastic, um, and the CCI are all very bullish. We are on the we are basically overbought here in the RSI, but it is flat at this current stage. So a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band that could uh, possibly happen. Uh, we can see basically here what ha basically has happened when we are getting this far outside of the bullish band. It usually snaps towards the middle, which is at the one point two one. At this current stage and the 50 moving average will also offer major support so if we manage to break above these uh, previous uh, candlesticks here then we are most likely going towards 1.5 so let's look at litecoin so this has been a really uh, good uh, three weeks uh, for the cryptocurrency market uh, also for litecoin you can see that we were down here at 170 and now we're trading at 262. technical indicators are very bullish at this point we're on the edge of being overbought as well and we are we are basically at the top of the bullish band and uh, well we have been here for quite some time we also saw the last time we rallied like this before we lost 25% of, uh, well, before Litecoin lost 20% of its value, it did trade uh, outside of the bullish band for quite some time. So it's not, um, it is not unusual. We can also see it here as well as here. So usually it does snap towards the 20 exponential or even the 50 moving average, which is at 200 at this current stage before uh, going higher. So it is in an upward trend. And uh, yes, pullbacks are basically buying opportunities at this current stage. So let's look at NEO. So NEO is also trading at 65, uh, uh, 65 at this current stage. Uh, RSI is uh, overbought or in overbought territory. Uh, pullbacks from here should find uh, major support down here at the middle of the bullish band at the 54, which is also the previous highs here. We are fairly quite, quite far away from the top of the bullish band, but we are running into resistance here. Technical indicators are very bullish, so pullbacks from here will probably not fall further than the middle of the bullish band. If we do, then the 50 moving average down here at the 40, uh, 45 will offer major support. So let's look at Dash. 
So Dash is, uh, well, also rallied a bit, not as far as the other cryptocurrencies, uh, but we are still significantly off from the very bottom here. So we're turning about the 20 exponential and uh, pullbacks towards the 20 should offer major support. Also the 50 down here at 225 should offer significant support. Technical indicators are not as bullish as they are for most of the other cryptocurrencies. We're on the edge of being our bot, but most of these are fairly flat at this current stage. So the next target will mostly be the very highs here at 326. So let's look at from. So Fran is uh, basically has taken out these uh, previous highs here and uh, at this current stage we're heading towards the top of the Bullinger band which is at uh, 0 0.1597. Technical gears are very bullish, we're significantly overbought so pullbacks from here will most likely find major support down here at uh, 0 0.1248 and the 20 exponential moving average at 0 0.1087. So yes, this has been a major rally for Kron and it looks like we are getting fairly ahead of ourselves, but that is uh, the way the cryptocurrency market works. It basically just absolutely rallies to the upside, gets significantly overstretched and overbought, and then just collapses toward the middle of the bullish band or the 50 moving average, and then continues rally. That's how it has been behaved the last uh, basically four to five months. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.